Hello again, everyone. Got some new stuff, <laughs> as is my wont. Um, these um, supplies, stamps, dies, plus a stencil, are by a company called Global Land. But Global is spelt G L O B L E land. Anyway, I think they're Chinese. I don't know really. But anyway, I thought I would have a play. Um, I don't know about you, but I often have a bit of a problem lining up stamps with die cuts. Or what, do I stamp on the die cut or do I cut out the stamping? Um, it's always tricky to get just the right position. I don't know. Anyway, with these, I've got the added hazard <laughs> of a stencil as well. But I think I've come up with a bit of a cunning plan to try and overcome some of the hurdles. Um, I don't know if I've got the thinking straight in my head, but we'll see. I want to make a five by seven card. This is my card base, five by seven. And I have got a couple of pieces here. One is for stamping my um, ginkgos on. And the other one is for my front panel, but I'm not going to cut it yet because I'm going to use a background stamp for that and then cut it afterwards. And, and where I cut it is dependent on how the, the background stamp has worked out. So that's that one. Um, I've got a dirty mark on that already because as I say, I have been having a play because I think I've come up with a way if I can remember what I did. So what I want to do, as I have with some other stamps and dies, is to make a jig to use in my stamp platform, stamping platform. So we'll see how we go. So to make my jig, this is just a piece of, it's fairly robust card, this one. Um, so I have my misty here and I've put one of this stamp here into my misty. I may have to move it because I've, I'm going to make a different jig now. So the thing to do is, first of all, to cut out the sh this shape. So this is the, the die for that. And what I'm going to do is cut it out of this piece of card about there. Okay, that's the first thing. So let's do that. Cut out that die. Right. Now, there's my die all nicely cut out. I'm going to pop that into there for a minute. Just put a, okay, just take this out. I don't particularly want that at the minute. Now, what I want to do next is to place this into the gap where that has come from. Okay, and pick it up. Right, so far, so good. What I want to do, I was, a, I was a bit puzzled actually with these because these are background stamps for those. That, that is a background stamp for this. That is a background stamp for that, etc, etc, etc. But I thought if you've got a, a stencil, why do you need a background stamp? Because that gives the effect, or the stencil gives the effect of a background stamp. The only thing I can think is that with a stencil, you can get more variance of colour than you could by adding different colours to a stamp. I mean, you can do it. Certainly you can do it. But you do get a bit more, you know, flexibility if you're going to ink through a stencil. So, first things first, I'm going to cut out my die cut from the the card I'm going to use, which is some of this silk leaf linen. So I'm going to cut out my stencil from here. I don't know if anybody else does this, but it kind of came to me when I was, I had several attempts at trying to get the 
over stamping in the correct position on the stenciling and then the die in the correct position on that. So I've tried to cut out a few of the imponderables. Okay. Now, let's just get rid of the bits. Not that it matters greatly, but... Right, there is my shape, which obviously fits in there. But what I need to do is to get my stenciling on this. So this is what I plan doing. Putting this, I can see through the stencil, obviously, where this comes. So I can see exactly what the border is for this particular die cut. And I'm going to get a little bit of tape, regular sticky tape this time, because I want it to actually stay still and not move. So I'm just going to have a look all round and I can see what I'm doing on here. Whereas if I got, if I'd got um, a die, although I could see most of the middle, I wouldn't be able to see all of it. And I've got them in a pickle with this piece of sellotape here. Let's start again, have a look, have a look through. I needed to have had that absolutely ready. Oh, is that okay? Looks okay to me. Just tape it in position. <gasps> Getting in a pickle again. Oh, can I put that down? No, I can't. I was going to say, can I put it down and put this onto it? But, um, okay. Now, what I want to do is to tape this so that the border is absolutely right. That's it. Got it. Okay. Let's just close that up for a moment because I'm going to do my inking next. And I've chosen a few colours of Distress Oxides. I've got... For the leaves, I have got um, bundled sage, peeled paint and scorched timber. I haven't used scorched timber before today. So I'm going to use all three of those on the, on the stenciling. And I'm going to use the scorched timber on the stamp for the veining. Okay, so let's see how we go. I've got my um, brushes here. So with, with the, the bundled sage, I'm going to go just all over it. Okay. I don't think I've ever done this before uh, for stenciling. Is, um, just put it a die cut behind. I don't think I've ever done this. But we'll see how we go on. Okay. I suppose what I could have done is put a bit of spray sticky, you know, on the back, but let's see if, let's see if this works. Now, a little of the peeled paint. Warms up the colour a little bit. Okay. And this tiny little brush came today, actually. It was, um, I, I sometimes buy um, craft kits that are sort of club kits. And I don't like club kits very much because I wouldn't necessarily like them all the time. So they, they sell them off cheaply very often. And this is, this is from a tonic one. And it was a little sample sort of a stenciling or blending brush or whatever. I'm just using this, just scrap, so just to sort of, you know, get a little, a little of the ink off because I don't want too much. Okay. There we go. Right. Now I can peel this off the back. And can you see my stenciling is absolutely in the middle of the die cut because all, all that fiddling around I did to get it in position. Okay, now what I want to do is to stamp 
this onto there. Because I've made my jig and I've taken a die cut out of that piece of card, positioned my stamp over it, now what I want to do is to put that into the gap. Oops, a daisy, come on. I was going to be all suave and do that then. I don't know. Right, let's put that into there. Okay, that fits nicely. I will put the magnet on, but there's not a great deal of need. Now the scorched timber. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Okay. And look at that. It's good, isn't it? I'm ever so pleased. So what I think I'll do is I'll do, um, maybe do another one the same. Why not? Let's do another one the same. So here's my die. I think two will be plenty for what I have in mind for this particular card. You may notice I've got a different work surface today because this was, it's, it's like the sort of material that a, cup, a kitchen cupboard shelf would be made of. I don't know why I had it, probably from when I had my last new kitchen. But this piece was just sort of sitting in the utility room on top of an old freezer. Well, that freezer went today and I've got a new one and I don't need this. So I thought, mm, I'll bring it upstairs and uh, have it as my new work surface, which is great. It gives me an extra inch or so depth. Um, but it's also about, you know, nearly an inch thick, I suppose. And so, but I had to get a cushion to sit on because I felt as if I wasn't tall enough to reach. So there we go. Right, next thing I want to do is my um, stenciling. So I'll give this just a quick wipe. I don't want to, it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. This time I'm going to get my tape out ready because um, I was fiddling around trying to get hold of it and couldn't do it. So let's get, my, get a piece of tape first. And we will put this behind. And just what I'm looking for is to get that even edge all the way around. Okay. Oh dear Lord. That looks okay. All right that away for the moment and we'll do the stenciling again so starting with the bundled sage all over there we are now I'll take this off the stencil This tape, um, un unlike the shiny sticky tape, does peel off fairly easily. Look at that. Absolutely some slap bang in the middle. Isn't that great? Oh, right. Let's do my stamping of the veins now. We'll pop it back into our jig. Here we go. Get it in position. Okay. Ink up. Ink up our, I suppose I could have put a sticky mat under there, couldn't I? Never mind, we're, we're managing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, doesn't that make you happy? Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Whoa. Brilliant. Right, now for my, I've got my two sprigs of, of, of ginkgo. And what I thought I would do, I've got this big old um, background stamp here. It's just like bubbly stuff. I don't know, I don't know where it's from or what, but um, I'm going to pop it onto the desk. And I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to use 
pumice stone for this and I'm going to um, stamp it. I just need, I want the top bit more than the bottom really. So I think I'll just do onto my, my sheet of half, half sheet of A4. And then I'm going to use my front panel die to cut it out. So I want a fair bit of white at the top. So let me just move these inks out of the way for a minute. Okay. This is the right size. I'm going to put it about, about here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that super? Right, where's my... Um, here it is, my... So somewhere, do I want it? Let's have a look and see. I think it may be like that. Maybe just, maybe just the one. I'm not really happy with the two the same. Um, I may do a different sprig. Let me have a look at these, but I'm not going to do it now to waste your time. I'm just showing you the, the process. That one doesn't kind of turn how I would want it, really. That one is a possibility, isn't it? I think I may do that one, but I'll do it in a minute. So that must be this one. Yeah, that's that one. Okay, so I'm going to cut that, this. I'm not quite sure how long this video has been already. I think the length of them may be affecting how long they take to, to upload. So I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's that or if it's the amount of editing that's done or the number of people trying to upload at the same time. I just have no idea. Right. There we are. Oh, I can't get it off. Let's just use a, a pokey tool just to get the die cut off the mat. There we go. Okay, so here's my card front. There's my panel. Isn't that pretty? And whether I use one, or oh, where's the second one? Here it is. Oh, I might use those. That's quite nice. And just a simple sentiment. Thinking of you, or happy birthday, or whatever. So there you go. How to combine stamps, stencils, die cuts, and get them slap bang aligned. Hope it was helpful and uh, I'm going to play a bit more. I will put a sentiment on and I will add it to uh, at the end of the video. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for giving a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>